Hi. Uh, maybe some of you uh, got to the same problem that I have. Uh, I wanted a system which will water my plants for a long period of time. So I tried uh, some commercial systems, but they're usually expensive, run on batteries or electricity, which is pretty risky. I don't want to risk that. Or just don't work on a long period. They dissolve all the water at a time. In this video I will show you how to make your own watering system that can last for a long time. This is good so you don't need to bother your uh, neighbors or people to go water your plants. And it doesn't depend on batteries or any kind of electricity. So this is what you have to do. You will need a drill, a rubber hose, scissors, angled pipe, U holder, U shaped holder, like this, screws and knobs, a wick, and any type of water container. So first uh, we have to drill a holes for the U shaped holder, usually there are two holes, you need the two holes and then you widen them. Put the screws from the outside towards the inside and put the U-shape holder on the inside of the container. Now you tighten, tighten it up. So now we have to put the wick inside the rubber hose. The rubber help hose uh, helps so the water doesn't evaporate while it while transferring to to your plant. So uh, if you have problems with uh, with pulling it through, you can use a stick. It's pretty easy to get it uh, get a wick out. And if you want watering to start immediately, you dampen the wick after putting inside of the hose. So now you use the angled pipes to make the hose go in, direction, in the direction you want it to go. Usually you will need just two. You can buy all this stuff in some uh, department store. So now you put it inside of the U holder with one side, uh, with one part in the inside and one part which goes, which goes into the plant or in the soil. So now we have to put some water in the container. For the part which is holding the water you can use any type of bottle like this. You can put some plastic cup of a yogurt or something and you have to uh, tighten it up uh, make it make it uh, connect with the bottle so it's it's pretty much fixed the two parts you can use some duct tape or something like that because that part won't get wet you can you also need to make some holes in inside of the cup so the water comes out now it's filled with water you can close it with your finger before putting inside of the water container. So, so partially water will come out till it comes to the level of water. Now the level of water will be always the same. So when the water transfers through the wick, it always transfers in the same rate because the, uh, the height of the water is always the same. You have to put your plant or your soil below the water container. This is crucial. This is how the system works. So you can uh, connect more plants around the water container. You just use more wicks to the same system. Uh, and you can regulate the flow of water with the horizontal distance between the start and the end of the wick. 
the longer it is, the less water it transfers. So if you have a plant that needs more water, you just put it closer to the water container. Here, you can see it all together. These are all, all connected closer to the water container, so they need more water, and that one needs less water, so it's farther away. So please try out your watering system before putting it to use. Just remember, if you need a longer period of irrigation, use more bottles in the water container, or connect less plants. In the ne next video you can see a PowerPoint presentation with all the detailed information on how to make your own self-watering system. And if you can, please donate for my further experience to make our plants happier. Thank you and goodbye.